What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So we're on the verge of our first European Cup final since 2006 when we got to the Champions League final under Arsene Wenger. That final ended up in absolute misery in my opinion. Uh, we could have done slightly better at the time, but let's move on. We are now on the verge of getting into the Europa League final. Haven't won a European Cup for 25 years, and that was the old Cup Winners' Cup. And it would be an amazing achievement for Unai Emery to find himself lifting the Europa League for the fourth time. He won it three times in a row whilst he was in Spain. So it will be a fantastic achievement for him personally and that uh, he could salvage this season so far in the premier league the season has ended up as a disaster blown the opportunity to get ourselves into the champions league by qualifying via the premier league however we still have hope we still have a chance to find ourselves in the champions league by winning the europa league and i do believe if we find ourselves in the final which we do have one foot in the final uh, we may certainly be facing chelsea so it may potentially be an all english final i can't see chelsea losing their next game they'll be playing at home as well so they do have that home advantage and they're obviously on a high buzzing from qualifying for the Champions League but don't get me wrong it will be an extremely difficult match if we do face Chelsea in the final of the Europa League but I do believe Unai Emery has the pedigree to go ahead and actually drive us to that victory that we all are dying for in terms of actually lifting that Europa League Cup obviously that will allow us to go back into the Champions League not the preferred route but always known We've always known that this would be the option to get back into the Champions League as we knew from the start of the season that qualifying through the league was going to be an extremely difficult task and it has proved to be an extremely difficult task for Unai Emery and his team. So we're moving on to the match on Thursday against Valencia. Of course, we won 3-1 last time out. Great, great performance from the team. Lacazette with a brace of Bamiyang with a goal as well on the evening. So I'm hoping for the same, obviously, in Spain. This time round, Valencia will have that home advantage of course they need to score at least two goals with no reply from Arsenal for them to progress into the final of course they've got that crucial away goal away goals in European Cup competitions are extremely extremely important and for them to come away with that singular goal that was quite vital for them moving forward. But I'm hoping that the defence will stand resolute on the day. Uh, hopefully, Koscielny will be back in the squad. And I've said throughout the whole season, when Koscielny is involved, uh, the defence seems a bit more sturdy. It seems a bit more organised. It could be a hell of a lot more better. Don't get me wrong. But with Koscielny in the squad, we seem slightly a little bit more sturdy. He certainly does organise the defence slightly a little bit better than the other combinations that we can throw out in defence. The absence of Rob Holding as well, I do believe, has been felt. I do believe if we had him in the squad uh, for the whole season or for the duration of this season, we would have had better results. As well as the absence of Hector Bellerin has been extremely felt hard, in my opinion. We're not offering much going forward. Maitland Niles has done a great job, don't get Get me wrong on that particular side of the pitch but the other two options Jenkinson and Lichsteiner don't offer anything at all in my opinion in terms of going forward as well as defence of course we do know that Carl Jenkinson plays with his heart on his sleeves loves the club etc but they're just not good enough in my Opinion. So I'm hoping for decent, decent performance from the defence themselves. Uh, who will Unai Emery field in defence? I don't know. What formation is he going to play? I don't know. The guy is so unpredictable in terms of his tactics. He prepares for each game uh, to cater to each team that we will be facing. So of course we saw a couple of players getting rested uh, during Sunday's game again against Brighton, uh, which was an absolute car crash. It was a disaster in my opinion. But we saw the likes of Kolasinac getting rested. He ended up coming on to try and salvage the game. So hopefully Kolasinac will be in the starting lineup. Offers a hell of a lot going forward. Defensively, there's a few questions that can be raised and a few questions that would need to be answered. Koscielny, as mentioned, he should be returning to the team as well. Unai Emery has been using him sparingly, uh, trying to obviously manage his fitness. Uh, he has been picking up a few niggles here and there since he returned from his main injury. But hopefully he's ready to go for Thursday and lead the team into the final. 
Who will he be partnering? I do believe Socrates will return to the team. Right back, mate, Lenars had a suspension in the Premier League, so hopefully he will come back. He'll be fresh and raring to go in the middle of that park. Unai Emery will most likely opt for Granite Xhaka, who had an absolute nightmare against Brighton. Torreira as well might come in. He did play uh, against Brighton, so it might be Torreira or Guendouzi. As mentioned, we don't know how Unai Emery might be playing this one. Up top, I want to see Aubameyang and Lacazette continue. Uh, we may also see uh, Mkhitaryan coming into the team. He had a decent game on Sunday, I do believe, and I want to see Iwobi coming into the team. When he came on, uh, he was an absolute threat going forward. He was being deployed as a right wing back on that particular occasion on Sunday, so I'd love to see Alex Iwobi return to the team. So that would be my predicted starting 11 for the game on Thursday against Valencia. Am I hoping to get a result? Yes. Uh, we've got a two-goal cushion. The key lies with the defence. It's just simple game management, no silly mistakes. Stay focused, concentrate on the game and the task at hand, which is getting into the final. And once we find ourselves in the final, we can deal with the final once that game approaches. But as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.